everyone. So yesterday I uploaded a tutorial that I had filmed the day before on how you can convert a PDF into an image and use it in your digital planner. And I used an app that I've had for a while now called PDF to Image and it was this really awesome app. Um, it, in just one click you converted a PDF to an image and it saved it to your camera roll. And unfortunately, the day that I posted the tutorial, that app was just gone from the app store. I went to send it to somebody so they could download it for free and the link wouldn't work and now it's just gone from the app store. So I don't know if they've completely pulled it from the app store, if they pulled it because it needed updating um, or what's going on there. I don't know if the developer decided they didn't wanna be a part of the app store anymore. Who knows? Um, so I just felt really terrible because, you know, I had just uploaded that video and I didn't want to look like I was just completely unreliable. Um, so I found an equally awesome app called Image Converter. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find a free app that does the equivalent of that PDF to images um, app because that app was 100% free. You could convert as many PDFs as you needed to. This image converter app I originally thought was free and when I tested it out, it let me do it for free. Well, it turns out it only lets you do one image for free and then it makes you get a subscription, but it's not unreasonably priced. Um, you can choose to pay $1.99 a month and you get a one week free trial with that. And um, then you can use this app as many times as you need to per month or you can choose to pay $4.99 and you get lifetime access to it. Um, this app is a little bit more advanced than the PDF to Images app because it'll let you convert your PDFs or it'll let you convert pretty much any file type, um, any common file type into another file type. So if you wanna convert a JPEG to a PDF, it'll let you do that. If you wanna convert your um, a JPEG into a GIF or a GIF or whatever they're called, you can do that. Um, you can convert your PDF into a Photoshop document. There's just a lot more options with this app. So you can see the app right here. This is what the icon looks like. And um, I'm just gonna show you really quickly using that same PDF that I used for my other tutorial, how you can convert that to an image. Um, because it's not just a one step app like the PDF to image app. So I'm just gonna click on image converter and I have that image um, saved as a PDF under my files. So I'm gonna click on files and um, I already have it pulled up here. If you don't have it pulled up, you would just go to browse. If it's saved in your iCloud drive, you can also pull it from your Dropbox or um, you know wherever you have it saved. And um, I have it saved on my iCloud drive under NTA planner stickers. So. Um, here's the PDF, so I'm gonna pull that in. And now it gives me the option to save it as a JPEG, PNG, a GIF or GIF. I don't know how to pronounce that at all, you guys. Um, so I can save it as that, a Photoshop document, or a bitmap image. Um, so I'm gonna save it as a JPEG, and I'm gonna click on Convert. And now you can see it's converting. And now it's downloading. And so I can choose to open this in any app. I can share it or I can add it to my photos. So I'm gonna click add to photos and now it's saved to my photo library. Um, so now I would just pull that into GoodNotes the same way that I did in the other tutorial. Um, let me go to a, let me go to a blank page. Okay. So I would just, you know, pull it from my images and then size it how I need to size it. And now it's in my digital planner. So it works the same way. It's not free, unfortunately, but it's not expensive either. Um, and it just gives you a wider variety of files that you can convert. And um, you don't only have to use it for PDFs. You can use it for multiple file types. So, you know, there is an upside to it. Um, it does take a few more steps, but it's still really easy to do. Um, and that's it. So I'm really sorry about that other video um, where I used an app that, you know, it just would be my luck that they would take it down the same day that I released the video with that app. So 
I'm so sorry about that. Um, but if you have any questions about this app, feel free to contact me. You can contact me on Facebook, Instagram, or my website, and I will link to this app in the video description. Thanks so much.